consigned to the scrap heap. Yes, it looks yes. that way. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> you gave them a run for their money, though, didn't you? Yeah, well, we tried, yeah, tried, but it was just too powerful. Just ripped, just torn it pieces. It did. It. it did, but it was a fantastic battle. That was awesome. It was yeah. a run for your money as well, wasn't it? Yeah, we, yeah. we're on the, on the losing side for a little while, and then we got the disc working, and then we... Because at the beginning, was it just working properly? Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 All the way through. Yes. Yeah, that was fine. It's the noise it makes, though. Yeah. And explain what you have to do, because sometimes when it looks like it's slowing down, it's not, is it? Well, when we've hit the target, the motor is uh, still running fast. In fact, the disc stops. The motor has to be stopped. So I stop the motor immediately. We have a strike. Mm -hmm. That started up again very gradually. That's why we sort of back off to the. Uh, I shouldn't say this. Yes, you should. I, uh, our opponents might uh, be. Anyway. They're not listening. They're not listening. <laughs> the, uh, we back off, get the speed up again, and go in. And we took the wheel off uh, one side. Yeah. And that was it. You literally have minutes now mm. for the grand final. What's the problems you're facing? Well, you've got a problem with the wheel, which we have to sort out. And anything else? Quick change Could for the batteries. Because right. we've, we've flattened them on that uh, battle, it was quite strong. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, effort went in, and it's going to draw the battery down, so we have to change the batteries and have a look at that wheel. Because when you get to this stage, it's not just how good is your robot, it's how well it can stand the pace. Absolutely. That's right. Shows how close they saw us game, though, but it's Hypnodisc flying through to meet Chaos 2 in the final, and while they repair, Craig, get your shin pads on! While our finalists take a much-needed oil change... Let's turn our attention to another less serious, but no less brutal battle. It's been raging over the course of the series. It's final day for our Robotic Soccer Cup. The tackles have been hard, the fouls have been very foul, and the referee's been back in therapy. But now only the fiercest players remain, and a golden goal is all that stands between them and the footballing hall of shame. Let the trials begin. An attacking formation, 4-0-1-4 robots competing against dead metal there in goal. The first goal, the golden goal wins it. Oh, and the other house robots can come in too. There's Matilda, there's Bash. And there's the general, the first of our finalists. Took three months to build, electric driven, has a front lifting arm for control, an aluminium body shell, and the team, Alan, Tom and Hayden James. This is how the general got to this final. Great power and pace down the wing. Matilda came to block, slipped the challenge, and into the net. Next up, Nasher. Powered by wheelchair motors, 79.2 kilos. The body tilts up completely, and it's got a powered jaw for control. Mark Bailey and Stephen Brady at the controls. Watch for their, the guiding jaws to bring the ball into control, off the side, rebound walls, and tucked it into the corner of the net to make the final. The loss a ripper, very quick, basically a battering ram with front and rear spike bumpers. Cost £125 to build this. Trevor and Matthew Wright, the team. Watch for this dreadful defending by Matilda. And in nips Velociripper. Route one through the middle. But never pass the ball square along your back for Matilda. You should know that from the football coaching manual. And Velociripper tore in. And finally, Evil Weevil. With the electric operated spikes, a ballistic fiberglass body shell. £400 to build over three months. Kevin Pritchard was a member of the victorious panic attack in the last series. Mike Walsh and Andrew Davis with him. Now, they didn't score in their qualifying heat. Squeezed out by Dead Metal and Matilda, but they were the last surviving robot, and they went through to this final. Evil Weevil. Forget your Jules Rimet trophy. Forget your European Champions League. This is the big one. The Robot Wars, Robotic, Robot Soccer Eos, Cup Final. Stand by. Three, They're from Wales, the General two, and Nasher and Velociripper one. and Evil Weevil. Velociripper with the speed, 20 miles an hour. Like a little 
Dashing winger, Nasher. Oh, the front prong of Nasher there on the right seems to have been bent back already. That could affect its ball control. Matilda comes in. Normally, Matilda's defences are down, actually, which uh, isn't a very pleasant thought for anyone. Velociripa, I think, it's burnt out. Is that a gouge down the side as well? Nasher. Steady progress. Matilda nippy challenge. Would make a good fullback, one feels, with that speed. Bit of a midfield general. They're the boys from Wales, and the controls of the general. Evil Weevil is still motoring into the corner. They need to get the ball out of there. Sparks flying off the front of Evil Weevil and indeed off the ball itself. Heavily studded there off the arena wall. In came the general with a little bash on the back of Matilda. Slamming it off the body of Matilda again. The general and Nasher come together with a block challenge. It's the general who comes away, but the scoop used only to push the ball against the arena wall. Very little control out there. Someone needs to put a, a prong or a blade on the ball, boys, and uh, just bring this game under control. Matilda doing a guarding job, a bit of a, a destructive job. A destroyer more than a creator, Matilda. Uh, I wonder if uh, Matilda prefers the Catanaccio system. Uh, well, certainly, Nasher takes a sort of a Franco Baresi type challenge and is flung over. This is Matilda bobbling the ball beyond Evil Weevil. Evil Weevil's still alive. I'm not too sure about the other robots here in this final. The general slow movement. Velociripper long gone. Nash is out of it. They need to bounce that ball off the arena wall. Matilda takes a chunk out of one of the arena blades. Matilda now just trying to push the ball along the side. It's come back into free play. Chance for Evil Weevil. Couldn't take advantage, though. Slow to react. Going the, you're going the wrong, the wrong way. The wrong way. That's it. Turn back. There's the goal. Remember the thing between the posts and the net. Ball goes in. Object of the game. Ah, what ball? Well, great balls of fire. At the moment, who's going to get there? The ball's on fire. This can only happen in Robot Wars, let's be honest. The ball in the final of the Soccer Cup. Bursting off into flames. Someone's got to score quickly here. Nash is on his side. Who's left still mobile? Who will get the decision? The judges have to decide. Well, it was Velociripper's first speed, but I think that did something to the engines. Burnt out, immobilised. Nasher, an early touch that looked cultured. Yeah, Velociripper was finished. Matilda played a massive role here, shielding the ball away from the house robots, but stopping them scoring, so therefore doing her job and doing it well. Uh, Evil Weevil tried to take out Nasher and succeeded. So, good aggression from Evil Weevil. And, you know, I think that could be the most decisive part played in this entire final by Evil Weevil. And it was Evil Weevil, crown champions, robotic soccer kings. Well done, Kevin Pritchard, Mike Walsh and Andrew Davis. Just a couple of minutes to go to our grand final. Before that, our last battle of the series competition with a chance for you and a friend to win an all-expenses trip to the Robot Wars studio to see the show being filmed, meet the presenters and get the chance to actually operate the house robots. Phone 0900-133-8800 if you think this is the best battle of the series. Battle C is Panic Attack against Exterminator. The reigning champions, Balaganek, taking more punishment from Exterminator. Some battle this. In comes Shunt. But it's Panic Attack driving Exterminator against the arena wall. A Shunt came in, the blade came thrashing down on Panic Attack. Exterminator away now. Panic Attack tries to get those two prongs in underneath Exterminator. Lifting, hoisting, grabbing, twisting, tossing, turning. 
So that was Battle Sea. Phone 09001 00 if you think Panic Attack against Exterminator was the battle of the series. And if our judges agree with you, you could be selected at random to win the top prize. Or one of the 20 runners-up prizes of the new Robot Wars first World Championship video with 15 amazing battles never seen on TV. Plus a free copy of April's Robot Wars magazine and a £25 voucher for the Robot Wars website stores. Lines close at midnight on Sunday the 23rd of April. The winners will be announced on the Robot Wars website on Wednesday. Good luck to you all. Now, over to Philippa in the pits with Hypnodish. Yes, you've got the wheel on. Right. It's not pretty. No, but, but it doesn't but it matter works. at this stage, does it? Will you be happy with everything when you go in? I mean, yeah. you're not going in kind of with some gums missing or you're going in complete and happy, yeah? The bit that matters is at the front and that's all right. OK, cool. Are you worried about this weather? Yes. I knew you would yeah. be. That's, I knew you would That's our be worst nightmare. I know, you've said it all along. That's your phobia. Yeah. And we've got him. Do our best. OK. Cheers. OK, I'll let you get on.